Have you ever felt like God was trying to speak to you, but you weren't sure if it was just your own thoughts? In the Bible, there are many examples of God communicating in unexpected ways, like the voice that called Samuel in the middle of the night or Paul's vision on the road to Damascus. Today, the signs that God is communicating with us may not be as dramatic, but they are equally significant. In today's video, we'll explore six surprising signs that God is communicating with you, revealing unexpected ways God might be trying to get your attention. Have you experienced any of these signs without even realizing it? Sometimes it might be an inexplicable peace amidst chaos, other times a loss of sleep calling you to deep prayer. What if I told you that even your finances could be an area where divine signs manifest? Surprising, isn't it? Prepare yourself for a journey of discovery that goes beyond the ordinary, deeply touching your beliefs and experiences. Not only will we discuss these signs, but by the end of this video, we will unite in prayer, seeking clarity and confirmation for the messages God may be trying to send you. Stay with us, as this is not just a video, but an invitation to transform your perception and strengthen your connection with God. Shall we discover the signs? Sign 1. Inner Peace One of the most surprising signs that God is communicating with us is the inner peace we feel at crucial moments. This sense of calm and certainty doesn't depend on external circumstances. On the contrary, it often occurs precisely when the surrounding environment is chaotic. The Bible speaks of this peace that surpasses all understanding in Philippians 4. 7. Indicating that it is a way for God to tell us that we are on the right path. This divine sign is particularly palpable during or after moments of intense prayer when we deeply connect with God. Imagine standing before a major decision and despite external pressures, feeling a tranquility that strengthens your confidence to choose the path that previously seemed uncertain. This is the power of divine peace, guiding Christians to trust that regardless of the storms, they are in the center of God's will. Practicing receptivity to this peace requires spiritual discipline, like daily meditation and constant study of the scriptures. For example, starting the day by reading Psalm 46.10, which advises us to be still and know that He is God, strengthens our ability to hear and discern God's voice amidst the noise of the world. Sign 2. Biblical Examples of Obedience A surprising sign that God is guiding us are the examples of obedience found in the Bible which serve as divine models for our own lives. Consider the story of Noah, who built an ark in obedience to God despite no signs of rain. This action, which might have seemed irrational to others, was a direct response to the divine call and resulted in the salvation of his family. Similarly, Abraham, by obeying God's command to leave his homeland and go to an unknown place, found blessings and promises that shaped the destiny of many generations. These acts of obedience are not just stories of the past, they are echoes of how God speaks to us today, encouraging us to trust and act according to His will, even when we don't fully understand the plan. For modern Christians, these examples serve as clear signs that by obeying God, we are aligning with His divine purpose. For example, when we feel the urge to serve others or forgive someone, even when it is difficult, we can see it as an echo of biblical obedience guiding us to follow God's ways. These are moments when sacred history intertwines with our daily decisions, showing that God's signs are as relevant today as they were thousands of years ago. Sign 3. Changes in Circumstances One of the most impactful signs that God is communicating His will to us occurs through abrupt changes in our circumstances. For example, an unexpected job loss or a sudden change in relationships may initially seem devastating, but they are often ways for God to redirect us to new paths that better align with His greater plan for our lives. These changes can be interpreted as divine signs when accompanied by a sense of direction or a new opportunity that appears almost simultaneously. 
Considering the example of Joseph in the Old Testament, his adversities, including being sold into slavery and then unjustly imprisoned, eventually led him to a position of great influence in Egypt, which allowed him to safeguard many lives during a great famine. To recognize and interpret these changes as signs from God, it is crucial to maintain a posture of prayer and spiritual vigilance. Cultivating an attitude of trust in God, even when circumstances seem contrary, allows Christians to see beyond the immediate and understand that each challenge can be a step towards a greater purpose. Being attentive and receptive to these changes helps us discern God's hand moving in our lives, always guiding us to something greater and better. Sign 4. Messages Delivered by People Often, God chooses to communicate His will through the people around us. Important messages can be delivered by friends, family, spiritual leaders, or even strangers who guide and confirm our direction. For example, wise advice received during a moment of uncertainty can reveal itself as clear divine guidance, perfectly aligning with the needs of the moment. This form of divine communication is evident in various biblical stories, like when God spoke to young Samuel through the priest Eli. In today's context, it could be a sermon that deeply touches our heart, or unexpected advice that comes just when we are seeking answers. Being attentive to these messages requires a posture of humility and openness, recognizing that God can use anyone to speak to us. To cultivate a sensitivity to these signs, it is essential to maintain an active prayer life and participate in communities where biblical wisdom is valued. This helps us discern between human advice and truly inspired messages from God. Obedience to these signs can strengthen our faith and direct our actions in ways that reflect God's will, transforming relationships and situations around us. Sign 5. Physical sensations. Often God communicates with us through specific physical sensations which act as clear signs of His presence and guidance. A common example is feeling chills during a moment of worship or when hearing words that deeply touch the heart. These experiences can be physical manifestations of intense spiritual communication, marking moments when God is particularly near. Additionally, sensations like a weight on the heart or an inexplicable urgency can be ways for God to alert us about the need to intercede for someone or reconsider an imminent action. Feeling a pressure on the chest just before an important decision can be a sign for us Christians to pause and seek guidance in prayer, avoiding hasty decisions. It is crucial for us Christians to be attentive to these sensations and seek to understand their meaning through prayer and meditation. When these physical signs are confirmed by God's word or the counsel of otherwise Christians, they can direct our actions in alignment with God's purpose for us. Paying attention to these signs and seeking to understand their meaning allows us to follow with greater confidence the path that God has prepared for us. Sign 6. Loss of sleep and call to prayer. Often loss of sleep can be a surprising sign that God is calling us to prayer and intercession. It is important to note that while insomnia can have health-related causes that need medical attention, at certain times, this nighttime restlessness can also be a divine invitation to connect with God in a deep and meaningful way. In these moments, when sleep eludes us and thoughts turn to specific worries or people, it may be that God is directing us to pray for situations or individuals in need of divine intervention. We, Christians, can use these waking hours as a special time of communion with God. Instead of getting frustrated with insomnia, we can see it as an opportunity to strengthen our prayer life. For example, when feeling awake in the middle of the night, consider it a call to intercede for global issues such as humanitarian crises or personal financial challenges or those faced by missionaries in the field. Applying the guidance of Matthew 26, 41, which encourages us to watch and pray so that we do not fall into temptation, we can also seek wisdom and direction for our own finances and life decisions. Additionally, this time can be used for personal reflection and seeking direction for the decisions of the next day. Often, 
After a period of prayer during these unexpected hours, we Christians can feel a peace that confirms that our prayers are aligned with God's will and sleep returns as a restorative blessing, reaffirming our alignment with divine purposes. As we explore these signs of how God communicates with us, it is essential to remember that there are many other signs, and these are just a few examples. God is constantly calling us to reconciliation and repentance. The Holy Spirit invites us to live a life connected with God, full of sensitivity and gratitude, recognizing and thanking the divine care in our lives. If you have realized that you may have ignored these communications in the past, I invite you to reflect on these experiences, be open and receptive to God's signs, knowing that He wants to guide and strengthen you on your journey. Let us now pray, asking God to clear our minds and strengthen our hearts to recognize and respond to His signs. And if you believe this content can help others better understand God's communication, please share it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate notifications to continue learning and growing in faith with us. We pray, Heavenly Father, we bow before you with hearts full of gratitude for your infinite goodness and mercy. We thank you for your constant presence that guides and comforts us every step of the way. Lord, teach us to recognize the subtle signs with which you speak to us, whether through your word, circumstances, or the people you place in our path. Help us to be sensitive to the touch of the Holy Spirit, who calls us to live in full communion with you, cultivating a repentant heart and a spirit willing to follow your will. May we grow in love, patience, and understanding every day, reflecting your light in this world. Grant us the wisdom to live each moment with joy and gratitude, knowing that each day is a gift from you, a new opportunity to witness your love. May our journey be marked by living faith and active love, serving as an example of your kingdom here on earth. Bless all who watch this video, filling them with hope and peace. May we all be united in prayer and purpose, always seeking more of you. Amen. God bless you all. See you in the next video. As we close another chapter together, I know some questions might still echo in your mind. You may be wondering how to navigate the complexities of spiritual life and unlock a path of abundance and blessings. The journey is challenging, but you don't have to walk it alone. In the comments, you'll find a powerful key to this door many seek to open. The ebook. Discover Prosperity with God, the ultimate guide to overcoming spiritual challenges and living a life of abundance. This is not just any book. It is the fruit of years of research, experience, and profound revelations now within your reach. Imagine overcoming the barriers that prevent your spiritual and financial growth. Think of the comfort and security of living a life aligned with the promises of prosperity meant for you. This ebook is more than words on a page. It's a map to the treasure you deserve. Join the many who are already on a path illuminated by faith and knowledge. The power to transform your life is just a click away. Check it out now in the comments and start your journey to a life of fulfillment and prosperity. Remember, prosperity with God is not just a distant dream. It's a promise waiting to be fulfilled. With this guide, you're one step closer to making it a reality. Your success story begins today.